Hey everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is your first time seeing my face. My name is Kai. I do fashion, music, content, whatever I kind of feel like doing. Hit the like button, comment, and subscribe to the video that I am doing. That would be great. Today's reaction, I am going to be reacting to a cuck, cuck hold couple of Sarai and Dakota. So cuck hold is a term for a husband who likes to see his partner, his woman or man, sleep with other people right in front of them. So I feel like this is gonna be crazy. I don't know what they're gonna say. Hopefully it's a little bit tame. I, for you two, I don't know what they're gonna say. Um, yeah, cuckold. If you haven't heard the term, this is the term. This may be the craziest interview I watch. I've watched so far, it probably is. Let's get into it. All right, Sarah and Dakota. Sarah and Dakota, where are you guys from originally? Sarah, you're from where? Pretty good for the most part. Uh, my parents were always together, but my dad struggled with drugs and... That's really sad. And dropped out and then went to summer school. And then I moved away to Oklahoma and quit. And then when I came back to Memphis, I or he uh, helped me get my GED and I got my GED. Dakota helped you? Yes. Well, he pushed me to get it. Okay, supportive boyfriend. We love that. <laughs> and you guys have been together how long? 12 years. 12 years. Mm -hmm. 12 years is a long time. So I'm like, I'm wondering how they got into this. Was this like always a desire for them? 12 years is a long time. I understand, like, I feel like 12 years, things may get a little boring. You know, you can't really bring this. I mean, you can, but it's like, what new, what's something new that I can do to you? You know, if we've been together for 12 years, I'm sure they've tried everything. So, we'll see. We'll say yes. <laughs> when, how, how did this come about? It, it's called uh, cuck holding? Mm-hmm. Tell me how that came about. Was your relationship always this way or did it develop? Mm, not always. It didn't start out that way but it developed that way. <laughs> how did that come about? Well, uh, do you want me to tell you how we started? Or? Yeah, tell me. I, I, you started out as a vanilla relationship? No, not at all. <laughs> <laughs> I, we were never vanilla. We uh, started out actually in the BDSM. I was really into the BDSM and like uh, slavery and sub, sub stuff and all that. Slavery? I definitely can't do slavery, obviously. Like we went that, like they were that level. And uh, my mom found out because uh, she looked through my phone. And some people are into some things, honey. At the time, she was one of those very controlling moms at the time. And uh, she freaked out because she saw me calling him master. And she's like, y'all can't be together anymore. No, 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 you're never gonna be together. So at 18, I left and moved into Oklahoma where we did that for a while. And then uh, we got invited from one of our one of his master friends to a big swingers party and we it was a lot of fun so then we just started doing swinging and then when we moved back to Tennessee it was just easier to do the swinging and because there was a bigger there was a bigger swingers community here than there was in Oklahoma. So it developed into something different than Dakota being your master? Yes uh Slowly, we uh, stopped the swinging and then started doing like threesomes and all of that stuff. And then it turned into me pretty much telling him I'm sleeping with whomever I want and you're just going to sit in the corner and watch. So you became the master kind of. I These are just r random guys you'll meet? Mm-hmm. Well, I have a black only preference, so all of them are black, but yes. A black only preference, but your boyfriend is white. What did they do that at? Just invited him over, like a. Look at his face. He's so sad. He's like, "Damn, I'm not black." <laughs> Guy threw a drive-through. I thought he was cute, so I gave him my number, and he showed up that night. <laughs> and this happens how often? Mm, I try to do it at least once or twice a week, but work, you know, it's really hard. You guys are both working? Yes, we work full time. Yeah. But and you, I, I do it every opportunity I can when I get free time. Twice the past week. 
Yeah, twice so far. <laughs> and Dakota, you you you'll sit in the in the room and watch. Mm, and watch and record and stuff like that. Really, or whatever the guys want me if they want me to do stuff. So, uh, what is your experience of this? Is it humiliating? Is it uh, tantalizing? Is it exciting? Is it what is it? Mm, it, is, it is humiliating, but it's also sexy to watch a guy basically perform better than I can. More fun if I was just watching and she was playing with the guys. And you'll pick up different guys each time. Well, I've got my regulars that I like, but yeah, I cycle through guys some, sometimes. <laughs> Unless I find a leg reel that I really, really like, and then I'll play with him quite a bit. But you're more closely bonded with Dakota than these all these other guys, I assume, right? Oh, yes, yes. Most definitely. <laughs> you're not, not going to leave Dakota for somebody that you... Never. Meet. Never. <laughs> I will laugh at them and tell them no. It takes a strong person to not only allow your boyfriend or girlfriend to sleep with other people but to be in the room and watch it that's crazy whether you like it or not <laughs> and you have a sex life that continues with dakota no so you guys don't have sex <laughs> no not in the truth getting any so what is he getting out of this so and dakota do you have sex of any sort with anyone not anymore not anymore mm -mm. where do you see this progressing this is, a, this is an unusual, unusual relationship, I would say. <laughs> I guess I have become possessive. It's mine. He's mine. I control what he does when it comes to sex and all is, that Is that stuff. your personality, to be so dominant, be the boss? Ooh, I control what he does when it comes to sex. Ooh, what in the 50 shades of bondage is this? Personality. Submissive to the other guys as well. Oh, yeah, I am submissive to my partners, but dominant to him. Your happiness is more important than his pride. Yes. A lot of men won't do that, and that's probably half the problem. I would say 99.9% 99 .9 of men won't do that. <laughs> that. That's a lot of problems. I don't know any man who would do that. You need to be a little bit more humble and listen to their women. <laughs> and, Dakota, and Dakota, you're, you're, you're not feeling... I mean, loving this. She's like, I have him wrapped around my finger. <laughs> she loves this. I mean, listen, at the end of the day, he's okay with it. She's okay with it. So it's a little strange, of course, but I don't know. He's okay with this. So each couple is different. And, and meeting African American men is not a problem for you? You just do it online, or how, how do you do it? Mostly online, but uh, sometimes I do it in person. That's what this whole tattoo means. It's supposed to symbolize I, uh, I'm exclusive to black guys. It's a queen of spades. And what it means is that I am only exclusive to black guys. She got a tattoo to symbolize she's exclusive to black guys, but she has a white boyfriend. What in the... Who needs a tattoo to say I'm exclusive to black guys? What is wrong with you? I have it on my chest so everybody can see it. <laughs> I would almost say that, like, even if we're together in public and a guy sees it, it's almost like a permission. Yeah, it's like permission. A, like, come, come say hi. Like you have permission to talk to her for <laughs> or stuff like that, in a way. Are, are, you, are you guys thinking of having kids? We've tried having kids, uh, but yeah. I've just never been able to. <laughs> You'd be okay if it was one of your other partners rather than Dakota? That's what we've tried to. Oh, you're, that's what you're aiming for? Yes, it is. If I have kids, I want it to be mixed. Will you tell the father? She is obsessed with black guys. I mean, I get it. I mean, they're great, but damn. She has a whole boyfriend talking about, I want mixed children. Ma'am, your boyfriend is white. So the fact that she's sleeping with only black guys, any guy, she said any, any black guy, please come out to me, talk to me. You're sleeping with only black guys and you want to have kids with only black guys, but your boyfriend is white. How do you sit through this? You know what I mean? Poor guy. I feel bad for him. I'm just like, we're not going to ask for child support or anything. And we wouldn't want to hide it or anything. It'll still be his, either. but. Yeah. So he's going to take care of someone else's child that she slept with? Oh my gosh, this, this, ha this is the craziest interview I have ever seen. What? And so the guy could just be like, all right, cool, I gave you a baby. And he's going to raise the baby? My God. From now. 
and if, after you have an interaction with some guy you met who comes by and just does his business and leaves, mm -hmm. you guys will talk about it afterwards or you'll... Yeah, he uh, helps clean up, does all that fun stuff. Uh, then we just pretty much, like, it's puppy dog. We cuddle, watch movies, play games. Just in the world. This is some crazy mess. <laughs> Who would do this? For real. What the? Wouldn't do. Like before the pandemic, we would go to like parties. It would be like swingers, but it'd be all white girls and black guys. And then it'd be me and her. And it would be like 30 black guys. I'd just be walking around talking to everybody and it'd just treat me cool as fuck. And just how cool it was that we were there, that I brought her there, or stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> what, what do you think? Because like, I consider myself a straight guy. And I don't look at other men and think they're, you know, attractive or sexy. But if a guy comes over and wants me to do something with him and her, I will. Like, it doesn't bother me to do stuff with guys. It used to bother me quite a bit, but it's just fun. It's just sex. It's not like a, I don't know. <laughs> and when your dom is telling you to suck dick, he sucked dick. I'm sorry? Huh? Say it again, please. <laughs> I said when your dom tells you to do something, you do it. <laughs> to another guy? Mm-hmm. To anybody. So, so, so sometimes Dakota is in, getting involved with the other guys? Mm-hmm. If they're okay with it, yeah. Did she really just say that? Yo. So he's her bitch. She's like, yeah, you're my bitch. He just said, I don't like men, but if she tells me to, and she just said, if I tell you to suck up, you gonna suck up. And he's laughing? He does it? Me recording makes a lot of the guys more comfortable because it's something other than me just being there, I guess. Or instead of me enjoying them being there, it's like I'm recording and stuff. All guys I are guess, different and yeah. have weird quirks. <laughs> <laughs> you, sir, what do you have a say so in anything? Whatever they want, whatever she wants, sir. I need I to get admit. a backbone. Please get. It's, it seems like it's obvious that you guys love each other. Oh yes. But you're just you're just very open minded compared very. to most people. Com yeah, I say compared to most people nowadays, very yes. That's the end of the video. That was traumatizing. I mean, that woman, she, she, she's powerful. She, she's controlling him. But anyway, that is the end of the interview. That is the most craziest interview I have ever seen in my life. If you watch this throughout, make sure you like this, comment, and subscribe. The fact that I sat through this interview and did this video is enough. Okay? Please. What the fuck? Comment, like, subscribe, please. I'm going to end it.